Okay, so uh, in today's in the today's webinar session, we will see uh, architecting in AWS uh, in the entire in the entire uh, cloud IT market. AWS is the global leader. And uh, how do we architect uh, in AWS? And what are the services, major services used for the architecture purpose? Is what gonna uh, what we're gonna learn in this today's class? We'll be going through them briefly. But before that, uh, yeah. So, but before that, I will be discussing about the uh, uh, what is the market trend of AWS and other other uh, details. And post that, we'll be discussing about. Uh, Discussing about the, the various AWS services and what AWS has to offer. And with respect to the uh, VKLT, as you all know, VKLT is an excellent exclusive learning platform which is central to help you upskill your technology and they are into almost all the trending technologies like DevOps, AWS, Azure, GCP, Python, and more. They also provide an online training course with certification to help you to land in your dream job. So if you choose any course with difficulty, you would be getting 60 plus hours of extensive live training and 13 plus modules. You also will be getting free Linux and shell scripting courses. You'll get real time projects and course completion certification. There'll also be a mock interview preparation, resume preparation and 24 by seven lifetime support access and live webinars and demo classes also will be available for you if you choose any course. So how it works with Vicalte, you just first need to start enroll yourself and then upscale yourself and then land in your dream job and then start making money. So this is the journey proposed by Vicalte team. And as you can see, you just need to enroll the course of your choice and then upscale yourself and then you land in a dream job, whatever you dreamt of and then start earning money. So if you have any doubt or any queries with respect to VKLT and their courses, the fee structure, what are the details, you can write down to this particular email ID support at uh, vikalti.com. And you also have a uh, you also have a, a phone number. You can also call to this number and you can, you'll be able to uh, get your queries resolved. So I, 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 I'd uh, leave this slide for one minute so that you can note down the number and note down the email ID. So if you have any queries with this pro course, everything, anything with respect to the difficulty and the every, anything you can call to this number and get your queries resolved. And you can also connect with Vicalty on the YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram. So we have a group everywhere, and you can connect to the Vicalty team uh, through this particular platforms. So with respect to AWS in AWS, we have several certifications as you can see and uh, in this particular webinar, we're going to mostly talk about the AWS solution architect associate. So as you as you see, as you can see, there are different levels of uh, certification foundational level associate level and the professional level and also you have a speciality in the uh, particular uh, particular uh, streams. So in uh, among all this the most demanded particular certification or uh, most demanded job role is solution architect. 
so this particular uh, this particular course and we'll be discussing more in detail about you know uh, what are the services which can be used and for what purpose it will be used on a briefly note uh, will be discussed in this today's webinar clear uh, anybody is having any questions so far any generic questions if you have you can ask me now anybody any questions if you're good okay so uh, as you all know that uh, if you let me show you a screen as you all see in this particular particular slide you will see that aws is the global leader and i think it, it will swallow most of your queries that why we need to choose aws because aws is the global leader 33 percent of the cloud market is been occupied by aws now what does it mean it what does this mean for you it simply means that uh, when there is a huge number of market towards aws there will be more clients working on aws cloud platform and more the client working on the uh, AWS cloud platform, there will be more job opportunities getting opened for the AWS uh, knowledge or AWS folks. And that is how uh, you, you can build your career uh, uh, so fast and so quick and you can make your career on the AWS. So and this is the market trend uh, wherein 33% is a major and apart from that we have Azure following it up in 18% and we have GCP for 8%. IBM for six percent, Alibaba for five percent, Salesforce for three percent, and Oracle is for two percent, and Tencent is also for the two percent of the global market is where uh, uh, they are adapting to the cloud platform. So as you know, every company is moving to the cloud. But if you if you if you do a market survey, and if you try to find out so which cloud are they moving, majority of the companies will be moving to the AWS cloud. And the pie chart what you see here uh, It says that what, what is the reason of some uh, companies moving to the cloud? So it means that 29% of the companies are moving to the cloud because of the cost management So uh, whatever the application they are running in their on-premises if they want to move to the cloud if they can architect those things in the cloud they can uh, uh, Reduce a lot of cost in their company so for the cost uh, optimization purpose 29% uh, of the companies move to you know uh, move to the cloud and 22% of the companies move for security reason so you must be thinking uh, uh, that uh, cloud might not be secure enough like your on premises and all but it's actually the other way around so cloud is more secure than on premises so when you when you learn more about the cloud and understand the various features and various offers what cloud has to provide so based on that you'll understand how how, how how security works and how how, uh, how good the security is in aws and then uh, by analyzing all this 22 percent of the companies are moving to the cloud because of the cloud security and uh, if you talk about aws in aws we have several uh, companies financial related companies and healthcare sector if not in india in most of the companies in us are moving to the cloud, aws cloud because of the security reasons and for those of you who doesn't know even the u.s military u.s government application runs on aws so u.s military and u.s government application runs on aws so you can just imagine the level of security what aws has to offer the other major percentage is about 16 percent is due to the control what cloud has to give you because when you're running an application or an architecture an application in the on-premises uh, It takes uh, it, it does not give you a full control on it because uh, there will be a several layers of layers of uh, you know 
blockages in between and you will not be having the actual control to the entire infrastructure because because there will be several uh, layers of organization there will be several teams working on it so you will not have a proper control on it but in the cloud you can get a total control and the control wise 16 percent of the companies are moved to the cloud and 12 percent due to the visibility and the performance so the hardware and the software uh what cloud offers they're highly reliable right they're highly reliable and they are used in the cloud they are used in the cloud and they provide you a very good visibility and very good performance compared to your on-premises so visibility is one of the major uh major problem uh major problem in the on-premises wherein you will not get the visibility of what is happening in your account in aws account uh that is that will be resolved that will be resolved in the uh in the cloud and also performance wise you will get a better performance your application starts performing better because of the higher availability fault tolerance and performance and uh, cost optimization and operational excellency by achieving all these things your your application starts performing better compared to your on premises and 9% of the companies have moved to the cloud for other reasons So everybody are clear on this guys any questions with respect to aws being global leader and uh about any any questions on this any general questions if you're clear just a quick guess on the chat window you guys have a chat window there you can uh, you know uh type a quick s if you're clear on whatever we discussed so far or if you have any questions you can type your questions I'm gonna answer them. I can only see few responses. What about others? Kabya, Prashant, Deepak, Rakesh, Soman, Tulsinath, Vemalesh. Okay, great. So let's make let's make the session enter more and more interactive guys uh, so any questions or any anything comes to your mind you can let me know so that i'll be uh, i'll be answering your questions and we can make it as a discussion so what are the benefits of aws uh, uh, if you if you run your application in aws what are the benefits you would get So these are the various benefits as you can see in my screen these are the various benefits you can uh, get when you are running your application or if you decide to architect your application in aws so as you can see it is cost effective uh the cost is uh, the, uh, the cost will be uh, here you can you can save a lot of uh, cost in the aws compared to your on-premises and as you know it is a pay as you go model that is the reason why most of the company prefer to move to cloud and it is easy to use it is not so difficult to set it up it is easy to use once you have a proper knowledge on it it is easy to use and you can you can access your aws through multiple uh multiple uh options like your management console cli and sdks and they're highly flexible so uh, the flexibility is been given from the aws side uh, that you can configure your uh, particular uh, aws services as per your flex uh, flexibility and uh, you can also support a large organization so if, if, a, if a huge organization or a big organization if they decide to move to the cloud uh, so in that case in that case not all the cloud vendor are not, are capable enough to onboard a large organization AWS is the only organization which is capable of storing a large application. So if a large a large organization decides to move to the cloud, they'll be having hundreds of servers and you know uh, uh, 500 terabytes and petabytes and exabytes of data. So not all the cloud vendors are capable enough. Only AWS is the only vendor cloud vendor who is capable enough to support large organization. And uh, and the recent uh, the mid-size organization which got moved to the cloud which got moved to the aws I, if, uh, i'm not sure if you guys are aware of it so have you ever guys heard about the company called thompson and Reuters? 
as no have you guys heard about the company thompson and routers guys what about others everybody heard about the company thompson and routers it's a it's a it's a financial company us based financial company which is uh, which is a, which is a, i would say a medium sized company yes so uh, exactly yes uh, uh, soman so that company recently in the december it recently was successfully migrated to aws they have they had around hundreds of servers and uh, several terabytes and petabytes of data and they were able to successfully move from their on premises infrastructure to the aws cloud so such kind of huge organization cannot be supported by all the cloud vendors so aws is the one who is capable of doing that it they are also the hardware and the software what aws offers they are highly reliable they are of very good quality and the performance is very high so they are highly reliable you don't have to worry about the uh, hardware used or software used everything is taken care by the cloud vendor they are highly secure aws provides you all the mechanism and all the options to make your particular system safe and secure uh, it is having a dominant market position as well so aws has been the global leader for consecutive several years and it is holding a dominant market position and uh, scale it also it is highly scalable and provides high performance it's so here the infrastructure and the server what you use can increase the capacity whenever you want decrease the capacity whenever you want you can also increase the performance you can also at the same time you can also optimize the cost as well so aws provides you all these facilities and you would get all these benefits if you use aws uh, to run your application or to set up your application or use your aws services for any of your requirement and today till today aws has been grown so much and so that there are around 175 plus services 170 plus services in aws right and you you name a requirement you name a requirement from the it field aws is already having a service let's say you if you want to deploy a web application you can do it if you want to do if you want to deploy a mobile application you can do it if you want to deploy a, if you want to if you want to do a work on the iot internet of things you can do it if you want to work on a blockchain you can do it if you want to work on a big data you can do it machine learning artificial intelligence satellite communication so for everything aws is already having a service for it so once you come to the aws it has been uh, you don't you don't you don't need to uh, use any other cloud vendor any other third party software everything can be set up in the aws cloud only so now let us see uh, briefly let us go through the services uh, what all can be used so with respect to the uh, uh, when you when you plan to architect your application if i want to architect in aws so what are all the services i could use uh, in order to do the architecture in aws let us go through them briefly so as you can see uh, in in generally we could use all these services in order to architect my application architect my infrastructure on aws uh, so it has been categorized into different components like you have a compute so compute is mainly your cpu power to run your application and as you can see under the compute you have several services which are shown in the orange like your ec2 lambda you have containers and coming to the storage and content delivery you have all these services just for a data storage in aws if i want to store a data in aws aws provides me several opportunities or several offers or several options through which i can uh, store my data successfully so just for the databases we have these services if it is a relational database you have a different service if it is a non-relational database you have a different service if it is a mongodb you can have a different service likewise depending on in memory database you have a different service if you want to do data warehousing you have a different service so you can choose the right service for a right requirement uh, once you have a knowledge on it coming to the networking so networking is a critical part of any application development and you have route 53 aws direct connect and amazon vpc and management tool with respect to the operation like your monitoring and tracking the activity making it automated so all those things can be done by these services uh, majorly cloudwatch is used for monitoring and cloud trail is also used for monitoring the activity 
and uh, for the security and identity you have uh, IAM to grant an access uh, to the particular to grant an access to the particular user uh, to your AWS account because in your, in your AWS account you're not the only person who will be working on it you will have a team you will, you will have a team to work on that particular uh, account and by leveraging different resources so in that case uh, identity and access management is a service which will help you to uh, authenticate and authorize and you have a key management system for the encryption purpose. So we have application services like uh, SES, SNS, SQS, and SWF. These are mainly towards sending a notification, sending an email, or sending a message to the queues, or setting up a workflow. So for such kind of things, we have a uh, we have a application services as well. And if you're looking for a DevOps background, so you you can set up a complete CI CD pipeline in the AWS, like your AWS code commit and then code build and then code deploy, and to manage all these three, you have a code pipeline. So I'll just go briefly through the services. So Amazon Compute Component under the Compute, you have Amazon EC2 which is server based we have an amazon ecs for the containers we have an amazon light sale for you know setting up the entire web, web based application uh, with all the pre-built services we have elastic beanstalk as a platform as a service where the platform will be already given by aws we have aws lambda for serverless we have amazon batch for the batch jobs so with respect to compute these are the services what we have in aws so with respect to storage we have amazon s3 and amazon glacier for the object storage we have ebs and efs for the block and file storage so depending on your requirement you can choose those particular storage option you can choose any of the services and you can store your data store and retrieve your data so coming to the databases you have uh, amazon uh, rds uh, for a relational database so we'll take care of the relational database if it is a non-relational database or no sql database amazon dynamo db will take care if it is an in-memory database you can use elastic cache if it is a data warehousing you can use amazon redshift so for every requirement you have a separate database services you can choose them accordingly so for the network components we have amazon vpc we have load balancer we have route 53 for the domain name serving cloud front for the content delivery network and direct connect for the direct connection between your on premises to the aws data center without using an internet if you want to establish a direct connect you have an aws direct connect service as well so these are the various uh, services what aws uses uh, and which can be used for your architecting purpose so everybody are clear on this guys or uh, any questions If you're clear just a quick cash on the chat window i would want the response from everybody if you have any questions you can ask me the questions if you are clear you can just uh, type s in the chat window uh kavya nikesh prashant memlish any questions if you're clear just a quick cash on the chat window so that we can proceed further Nikesh, thanks for the response. What about others? Now, last but not the least, uh, yeah, last but not the least, we will be discussing about the various customers or a customer story. Or uh, we will see what are the companies which are moved to the AWS, and uh, let us see what they have to tell about that and then we're gonna end the webinar so i'm just gonna go briefly towards uh, that so uh, as you can see these are the various customer uh, uh, customers which uh, which are working on aws uh, which are uh, onboarded to aws if you do if you go to the featured industries if you check for the featured industries in that uh, under the financial services or a financial company you have finra uh, Finra is a public sector uh, which collects and analyzes billions of brokerage transactions daily with AWS. Uh, Finra is a company uh, which is a which is under a public sector. We have an Intuit company. You must have heard about the Intuit company, which is an enterprise company. 
uh, which uses an Amazon SageMaker, Intuit cuts the time to deploy machine learning models by 90%. So uh, here, uh, if you if you if your requirement, if the company is having a requirement for the machine learning, in that case, uh, it's gonna it's gonna uh, it's, uh, they they have used the SageMaker and it has reduced the deployment up to 90%. And Capital One is another enterprise company which is reducing the data center footprint and expanding use of microservices to reimagine banking using AWS. Uh, so Capital One is a banking enterprise account, and, and this particular company is moved to the AWS and they are using they, are, they have selected a microservice approach and they are building their application in the AWS. And Coinbase is a startup which prevents the fraud by using Amazon SageMaker to develop machine learning algorithm. So it's a preventive uh, a fraud mechanism which will use machine learning algorithm uh, provided by SageMaker in order to do that. So like plus there are several other uh, several other uh, setups. Uh, with respect to financial uh, setup. Financial services if you go to the retail. So as you can see with respect to the retail Aldo, you must have uh, heard about the Aldo company. Aldo is an in enterprise company which uses AWS App Spring to improve improve the shopping app experience, shopping experience for food, footwear customers. So Aldo is a famous footwear brand. You must be aware of it. And uh, so in order to do an online, in order to improvise the online shopping experience, they have used AWS App Sync service. You must have heard about the company called Coca Cola. It's an enterprise by migrating to AWS the Coca the Coca-Cola company achieves a 40% operational savings a very important Use case Now as I told you most of the companies are moving to the cloud is because of the cost optimization So Coca-Cola company is a company which has moved to AWS and compared to their on-premises They were able to save 40% on the operational setup Next one is a Glossier. Glossier is a startup which Glossier builds a point of scale system on AWS to seamlessly merge online and in store customer experience. So, online and in store customer experience, if, if they want to, uh, you know, increase the experience, they have used a point of sale system. And we have Ibota. Ibota is a startup again by increasing the coverage of Amazon EC2 reserved instances. Ibota saves $1. One million dollars Ibota was able to save by choosing a reserved instances in the AWS. This is about the retails. There are also several other retail companies as well. These are the major ones. Coming to the media and entertainment, your famous Netflix. Netflix uses AWS for nearly all its computing and storage needs, including analytics, recommendation engine, video transcoding, and everything. So you know whatever you see the Netflix right? I think I hope everybody watches the movies on Netflix Right, so that particular application is majorly hosted on AWS It uses several compute services of AWS storage service of AWS to store all your movies to transcode them to you know uh, buffer them to broadcast them it uses that so F1 F1 is an enterprise company which uses Amazon SageMaker to build machine learning model that helps the fan better understand the split second decision made by a driver and a pit crew. So it uses a SageMaker to make your fans understand that what is a split second decision what a driver will make of an F1 in an F1 racing and what is the cab a pit crew is going to make. So NUN is a, a public sector which is used to provide learning for millions of students in Israel through its live streaming solution built on AWS. And iFlix is a startup uh, which signs up to 1 million customer in just uh, seven months using AWS. So iFlix is a startup which started on an AWS and they were able to get a 1 million customers within seven months by using different services. Likewise, you have different, uh, diff there are several customers which are using AWS for different use cases and they are successful in it. If you see, as you can see here, there are several customers. Uh, as you can see, there are around 7, 1,741 customers are there currently. And with respect to each of the sectors, uh, education, uh, industry, insurance industry, financial industry, media and entertainment, for everywhere we have a particular uh, setup. So if you go to the Asia specific, if you filter on the Asia specific, so DSP mutual funds, SR lab, work apps, video platform, 
and omis sgx all term so all this juniper so all these customers are working on AWS or are implementing their setup on aws and they are having a very good success stories so everybody must be aware about bharti axa so axa uses aws to deepen customer engagement right so Autodesk in Autodesk is also a company which uses AWS which reduces the big data processing cost by 90% Even your OLX everybody must be aware of the OLX right so OLX which which is used to sell the used products even the OLX company uses uh, AWS and is running on AWS to provide a better experience uh, for the customers so these are the various customers like likewise you can check uh, during your free time and understand what are the various customers who are using uh, AWS and what are their success stories and then uh, you can also you can also uh, you know start exploring more about AWS and start exploring towards making your career in AWS clear everybody are clear on this guys uh, uh, on whatever we discussed so far we're gonna stop here and i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna open up for five minutes for the question and answer if you have any questions or else we're gonna uh, uh, if you're clear you can just type yes on the chat window uh, so that we can uh, end the webinar i would want the response from everybody thank you nilkesh for the response what about uh, others kavya prashant tulsinath vimlesh indrajit any questions So we, I'm going to open it for two more minutes and then we're going to end the webinar. If you have any questions, you can ask me. How many days cloud race will have a data Wimbledon is having I mean, it's asking it is uh, I mean, ideally it is 90 days. Uh, but if you want to keep it uh, uh, permanently, you will have to uh, store. You will have to create a trial and store it in S3. So Indrajit is asking what is EC2? So uh, in the EC2 is a service through which you can you can uh, provision in the virtual machine Let's say if I if you want to set up a virtual machine in the AWS in that case you, you have to use EC2 service to set up a virtual machine So it will help you to provision your virtual machine as per your requirement clear Can you share the full video to my email ID because I am joined the webinar on 530 only uh, Nilkesh, I think uh, Vicalty team will be able to do that. So they will be sharing you the details or you can reach out to them anytime I think they have already shared the details in the chat window. So you can mail them or you can call them and get the video Yeah Thank you Any more questions guys What is AWS Lambda and how to use it? So, uh, Wimblesh, AWS Lambda is serverless, similar to run, to run your application. You use EC2, right? EC2, uh, EC2 will be used to you know uh, run the application. Where in the server you have to manage. But if you do not want to manage your servers and you just want to deploy your application, then you can use AWS Lambda. So you will learn more about AWS Lambda when you when you join the courses. Uh, you'll be able to understand how it works and how to use it. So for now, AWS Lambda is a serverless compute platform. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, and then again, thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a great night. Uh, take care. Bye, bye, guys. And any queries, any questions you have, our faculty team has already shared the contact details. Please reach out to them on any queries, any questions. Clear? Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. So, Vimlesh is asking, is it okay? Thank you, Nilkesh. Thank you, Indrajit. Is it okay to know only AWS in DevOps? Yeah, it will be uh, it, it depends on your client most of the clients are moving towards it So if you know AWS in DevOps, it's more it's more good and it is an added advantage Okay guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye